hi guys welcome to my tutorial today i will discuss about contact form usually i like to use the default contact form of elementor pro because it is sufficient for general use but sometimes we need something more functional and complex for example recently in one of my project my client asked for a form that will ask certain information if visitor choose certain option like if he choose yes then the form will ask for his address normally we cannot create that with elementor form but there is a popular form builder gravity form has that option but it is expensive so today i will show you an awesome free alternative of gravity form to make the conditional form it also comes with some great free advanced functionalities as well it's called caldera form it's not the easiest form builder but it has the most functionality in the free version so let me give you an example so this is the form as you can see we have name field email field that is very simple and we have a toggle switch yes no maybe oh, you can choose radio switch as well then we have post title post categories and some number field so normally you can create this easily with any form builder but the good thing is if we choose yes as you can see it's now showing additional form your address and how many you need if I choose no it will hide this and if I choose a maybe it will show the message take your time okay so you cannot build this with uh, default elementor form also we have some extra functionalities like post title you can make any post title and add it to your form same goes for this post categories as well so this is if you add new post or new category it will automatically show up in this area also as you can see in the bottom part we have number one number two so let's put a number five in number one and put uh, maybe three in number two as you can see in the result section it is showing eight so number one plus number two equals eight so you can do calculation with this form as well so you can build the calculator like uh, fuel calculator payment calculator easily with this plugin as well and it's this functionality is completely free so let me show you how you can do that so first of all we need to go to plugin and search for caldera form c a l d e r a caldera and install it i have already installed it so let me create this again so a new menu will be added called caldera form so go to this caldera form forms so let's delete the old one okay so to add a new form you have to click this new form and you will it will give you some options like contact form variable pricing form etc so we'll start with blank form and give it a name and choose create form so now our this is our form builder interface you can choose some form settings in here this is the form name success message and other settings as well and you can change the sender or receiver email from this email tab so as you can see this is our form name from email and other settings so let's go to the layout section in here we can build our form so first of all we need to add two columns so how can we make column just hover over to this area and click this split icon and it will split this to two part you can also split the any part as well so you can split it like that as well and now to add any field you will see a blue button called add field so drag it and release it to any specific section so drag and drop it in this section and a field pop-up will show then this area you can see we have tons of selection available you can use any of this so first of all let's add a name so set field on the right hand panel you can see all the settings are now showing so in the name field we we can give uh, a name like uh, name you can make it required if it necessary and you can adjust the other settings as well same goes for this email field so let's add email address give it email 
let's make it let's make it required and click save and now we will add another section or you can put the new field under any field as well so let's add new section in this section we will make this toggle switch or radio button for condition so let's drag in here let's add radio button to add radio go to the select and click radio in the right hand side panel you can give the title in the bottom panel you can see we have the option section so to add new option click add option and in here give the level so first level will be yes click the add option again to add new option and second will be no you can make any field default by choosing this radio button so this no will be selected by default or you can leave it blank if you want and next section let's add another section and in this section we will add the field that will show will be shown if we choose yes so let's field add some field let's make it uh, company name name make it text field or you can make it required as well add another field make it let's make it paragraph area make it address and then let's make it phone maybe phone we have two version phone bet number basic phone number better let's add better version so fold so we have three field now let's add another option in here as well so hover over to this and click this pen icon and let's add another option called maybe okay so we have three option now and for maybe we can show some text or something any other type of html content so let's drag in here and go to this content section you will see the summary section break and html let's add an html and in here give it a name in here maybe maybe content maybe So maybe content and let's add some paragraph in here let's copy some or remove some first add a heading is four and add this paragraph you can add any html content you want let's make this paragraph okay so now our this is our content for maybe if you just choose maybe okay so now we're done let's add a submit button so click in here drag the and choose button what is the button this is the button choose this field and make it submit and make sure the type is submit we also have, can make multi-page form as well so i will show you in future tutorial so let's just submit and everything is done let's save the form so if we go to the form and you will see the form name in here and on the top you will see get short code click on it and you will see the form short code so let's add a section in our page and add a short code wizard short code wizard and save it and if you refresh our page as you can see all of our field is now showing but we want to show only user choose yes or maybe then this specific field need to show so how to you can do go to our hover over to our form click edit to edit the form so this is our this other form so to make this 
make this condition work we have to go to this condition tab as you can see this is the condition tab click this condition and we need to add two condition one for yes and one for maybe so click add condition group name it whatever you want i'm giving it yes and in here if user choose yes we have three options show height disable so if user choose yes we need to show something so click show in here and click this add condition line so if yes this condition will be applicable so in this area you can see if and choose the field so if are you interested is yes if are you interested in yes so if this field is this we want to show something what do you want to show this field and this field and this field this three one company address and phone so on the right hand panel select company address and phone so if are you interested is yes show this tree so let's save let's add another condition maybe let's also make it show we don't need to set for no because this yes condition is already showing this one so if this yes is not selected this field will be automatically hidden so we don't need to add condition for no so maybe just show add condition line if are you interested is maybe then show what maybe content in here that we have created this one so if are you interested is maybe show maybe content let's set this form so if we refresh this one as you can see all of our field is now hidden so if i choose the maybe only the maybe content is now showing so if you choose yes only yes content is shown if you choose no everything is hidden so this is how you can create conditional form this is very useful in particular case you can easily achieve this with this calendar form and this form the free version of this form is extremely powerful i will show you some other advanced tutorial about caldera form in future if you guys are interested so i hope you guys liked my video so if you like the video please get subscribed and if you can like and share with your friends